of welcome back to Get The Gloss. Today I'm going to talk to you about my pampering regime. I love nothing more than having a bath. That is like my guilty pleasure. Well, not guilty. I don't feel guilty about it at all, actually. I love having baths. And also, recently, I love relaxing. I actually merely make time to relax, because otherwise I think that we can all get totally burnt out. So, I'm going to tell you what I use in the bath, after the bath, etc. Okay, so if I really want to relax, and if I've done quite a lot of exercise, which I might well have done, then I use these magnesium flakes. Now, magnesium is something that we're often deficient in, and these flakes are a way of helping get it back into the body, and it helps prevent muscle cramping, and it also helps to relax your muscles. And if you've done a lot of exercise, it also is meant to just sort of help regenerate and repair. So I love this, but apparently you actually do have to spend about 20 minutes in the bath to actually get an effect if you're going to be so, if you're using it like this. Other ways of taking magnesium are to ingest it in a vitamin form. There are also sprays that this brand does. I'm sorry, this brand is better you, if you haven't seen. So I add some of that to the bath. Now I also add, but I hope it doesn't mean that the effects of the magnesium and nulls. But I also add an oil because I love having a fragrant bath. I, it's a bit really quite boring. The magnesium flakes don't smell, so it's quite boring not having a scent. This brand, Neom, massive fan, one of my best friends in the whole wide world, Nicola Elliott, runs it, it created the brand. This is lavender, jasmine, and Brazilian rosewood bath and shower oil, and it's absolutely beautiful. You put a bit in the bath, place one capful in a full bath or you can put it on your body and then get in the shower if you want to have it like that or put it on your body and get in the bath it smells absolutely beautiful so love that proud of my friend nicola it's an amazing brand okay another oil i love actually is bamford jasmine orange blossom and cedarwood lovely then i might be washing my hair and i'll probably put a hair mask on now this if you have haggard hair like mine this is amazing. Or if you've got really curly or really dry hair, this is by a company called Ojon. They specialise in very moisturising products for hair. Amazing too for Afro hair and Afro-Caribbean. Amazing. So it's like an oil. Actually, it's quite warm today, so it's sort of melted. But what you do is you plug... It's normally a solid, a bit like coconut oil is. You scrape it out, apply it all through your hair, and then you leave it in... So you put it on dry hair, leave it in, and then wash it out half an hour later. So I will probably use that. This is called the Restorative Hair Treatment, and it says it deeply treats and restores damaged hair. I think there's nothing quite like this product. It's really, really special. When I apply a face mask, I like to exfoliate my skin first, because then I think it works better. It gets rid of all the debris, gets rid of the dry skin cells, to allow your next product to be more effective. Now, so I love this. It's called Aurelia Refine and Polish Miracle Balm. I've spoken about it before. It's absolutely amazing. It's by Aurelia Probiotic Skincare, and it contains little beads. Now, I know there have been a lot of press about microbeads, but these beads dissolve. You can actually, you can actually squish them in your fingers. In fact, when you're rubbing it into your skin, you can feel them dissolve away. So I absolutely love this product. It contains natural oils, very gentle, it's not really harsh on the skin because I don't believe in aggressively exfoliating your face. That's when you can disrupt it, cause acne, cause problems. So you have to be gentle. Love that product. Okay and then this is one of my favourite face masks. It's called Black Rose Cream Mask by Sizzly. It smells amazing and it deeply hydrates brightens, makes your skin really luminous. It's quite a cult product. In fact, I was talking to other beauty editors about it recently and they said they also felt the same. Really leaves your skin glowing. And then I might, if I'm feeling like I have the energy, <laughs> I might scrub my feet. Now this is Leighton Denny's Smooth Your Soul Foot Smoother, Foot Scrubber. Really, really good. You can use it wet or dry. And one side is to really kind of, but it says remove, so it's to buff away dead skin, and the other one is less harsh, so it's to smooth. Yeah, it's probably best to do it though, I think, on dry feet. It seems to work better. And then, after the bath, I will probably use a self-tanner. This 
is one of my favourite self tans. I've been using it all summer long. It is Clarins Self Tanning Milky Lotion. You might think you've seen it before, but it, I think it actually only came out this year. They've got another one similar. It provides the most beautiful glowing bronze, non-streaky. I didn't get a spray tan before I went on holiday. I just used this and it's with fig extract too. So it doesn't smell horrible. It doesn't develop using that horrible biscuity smell. It's really, really great. And it's a believable light bronze. It's not some real heavy fake brown. It's really great. And then if I want to pamper myself a bit more. Before I go to bed, I might use this eight hour cream nighttime miracle moisturizer. This product I think is a bit of an unsung hero. I love it. It smells very faintly of eight hour cream, but not to the point where you think, oh my God, it's not like putting the original eight hour cream all over your face. It also contains a slight lavendery smell, I believe. Anyway, it's this very, quite thick, but very smooth moisturiser. And it, it kind of quite hard to rub it in, but you, you feel like it's really kind of providing this sort of protective layer on your face whilst you sleep. Leaves your skin super soft. You don't need a lot of it. I mean, I've had this for ages. Super soft and you feel it's really nourishing. So for anyone who's got dry skin, I think this is wonderful. Nighttime Miracle Moisturiser. And then, another product from Neon. I might spray my pillow with the Perfect Night Sleep Pillow Mist. Now this contains, it definitely contains lavender. Yeah, it's a lavender spray. And it's absolutely beautiful. It's an award-winning fragrance. Oh, this it has extra chamomile and patchouli. And it has a bit of jasmine. And it really sends you into a bit of a coma. It's lovely, it's lovely. So you spray that on your pillow before you go to sleep. And that is from Neon Organics. And that is me, blissed out. Thanks guys, see you soon.